So yesterday on Roblox, the event named The Hunt began, and a lot of games are having updates related to that event, but today's focus is Piggy, which was also involved in this event. So for the event, Piggy released a new update chapter which you can access by clicking the bottom left of the screen, similar to RB Battles. Now before I get into more detail, does anyone remember the mansion chapter? Because in the ending cutscene, Eddie is on the phone to someone named Finley, and guess what? We finally know what Finley looks like, because when you click the hunt icon, he comes crashing through the wall in his time machine and invites us on a quest to uncover some potential treasure, and we get teleported to this medieval Shakespearean looking map which looks to be about from the 12 or 1300s, and what was really unexpected is that Griffin was the bot. I never expected him of all characters, but oh well, here we are. Now this may look like a normal castle map, but hidden inside are a lot of secrets. The first thing I noticed was the drawings inside the bedrooms upstairs. Look at this one. Notice anything similar? That's right, the person in the middle looks like Mr. Stitchy. To those of you who don't know who Mr. Stitchy is, he's a character who we don't know too much about, but he did make several appearances in the maps during the Halloween events, most notably in the house, school and carnival map. But his most infamous appearance was in the forest map back in 2020 where you could obtain him as a skin by completing a quest. Sadly this has now been removed, but several notes were also left around book 1 maps after the Halloween updates. Now back to the topic, there are three drawings of Mr. Stitchy throughout the bedroom, but two of them really intrigued me. So you see here, this drawing portrays Mr. Stitchy with a person, and the only human character I could possibly think of who ties with Mr. Stitchy is Teo, the iniquitous one. And this is definitely a possibility considering the fact when you look back at the distraction chapter which came out a while ago, Teo says this line in the ending cutscene, I felt alone often, so I made myself a friend, one from beyond. And when you look at these drawings, they do look like a child with an imaginary friend, so the person in this drawing could possibly be Teo as well. The reason why I think that this person is also highly to be Teo is the fact that in this drawing you can see the person next to Mr. Stitchy is smudged out with orange. Now remember that line Teo said from the distraction chapter, the one which said, I started to become just like him in more ways than you could imagine. He wasn't too happy about that. Well like I said, it's possible that this person is Teo and that Mr. Stitchy is the one who smudged him out of the drawing because he wasn't happy that Teo was more superior to him. Now moving on from the drawings, I want to talk about this note I found on the table here reading, It has been a week since my son has left. I want surge parties turning over every rock in my kingdom to find him. Now at first I thought that this note was possibly written by Griffin because of the setting of this map and how he is also the bot here, and it led me to believe that maybe Griffin is Teo's father, but that is highly unlikely considering the fact that Teo is likely human and Griffin is a pig, so maybe the ruler of this castle was human as well, but I guess we'll never know till further notice. And speaking of Mr. Stitchy, not only is he in the drawings too, but if you go into the other room upstairs, you will see a figurine of him inside this Canterbury. Now tying with Teo's line about making a friend from beyond, it's likely that this is a part of Teo's backstory. Despite the fact that Teo's clothes look like he's dressed from the 1930s, he could very well date back to the medieval times like how this map is set. Like I said, around the 12 or 1300s. And judging by the notes on the table and the drawings, Teo is probably the son who went missing, and the drawings are in his bedroom. I hope we get to learn more about him in Intercity. But as soon as you get in the time machine and fix it up, you're then teleported to the second part of this chapter which appears to take place in some city high-rise complex, as there are multiple buildings you need to access via cranes and planks. So the first secret I noticed was inside the bank building, and it's this note on the desk right here reading, This place has been emptied, but the vaults upstairs are still sealed tight. There's got to be something good in there still. Now while this doesn't have any importance to the lore here, it's a small detail I noticed showing that someone who used to work here was possibly a crook. However, it is a possibility that this note was also written by Finley, judging by the fact that he's in the ending cutscene, and the ending cutscene takes place in the bank vault, and being the rude bugger that Finley is, he pinches my reward. And the next secret is in the office building on the top floor on a desk, and it's this note as it reads, I don't know what those things are, but they are not like the infected. They almost don't even seem real. 
yet I'm not the only one seeing them. Now keep in mind that the one you need to watch out for is this bat creature here, so maybe it's what this note was talking about. I did think that this was relating to the insolent creatures, however, I doubt this is the case, because remember in the temple chapter when the player met Teo for the first time, they were the only ones currently seeing him, so that possibly means that only certain people can see them, but if the person who wrote this note said that they weren't the only ones seeing them, I guess I can assume it's just regular infected that looks slightly off. And finally, the last secret is also in the office building on the bottom floor on the desk, and it's this note which says, After what's been going on in the capital city, I'm glad we took shelter here. And two words made me intrigued from this note, the words capital city. Because do you know what that made me think of? That's right, the capital from Piggy into city. So I'm also led to believe that there are survivors elsewhere in the country, just not in the capital city since it's a bad place because of the capital. But anyway, that's all the secrets I found. Please let me know if I missed anything in the comments, and also let me know what you think about all this too, because if I see some really good comments, I will be reading them out in the next coming videos as well as giving you a shout out. But that's all for today's video, so if you did enjoy, please like the video. Also subscribe too, because I'm getting close to 4,000 subscribers and I really want to hit it, but on top of that, peace out.